Hello dear subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is me, Waves from SlideNerd here. In this video, I'm gonna work out a simple example of shared preferences, something which we were discussing previously in the last video. So if you guys have missed that one, I will include a link to that video in the description text below. So I'm stuck here with Android Studio, which has a main activity. First, let's try and see what this main activity contains. You go to activity underscore main dot XML, you will notice it's very simple. There's our username and there's the edit text for that. There's a password with an edit text and a save and go to B button. In other words, I have two activities. One of them is the main activity. And if you go to click go to B, you will be taken to activity B.java. Again, let's try and take a look at its appearance. Here I have the load button and I have the previous and the same username password. So my idea is something like this. If I go to activity A, put some data here inside the username and password click save that's gonna go all the way inside our shared preference file this on click attribute notice the value it says save over here and this save is actually gonna call this save method here inside which I'm gonna write code here for saving data using our shared preferences now if you go to our activity underscore main there is go to B right if you click on this it should take you to the next activity it's pretty simple I've written code for that already it's just an intent and it says start activity intent and that takes you to the other one same way if you go to activity B here when I say load it's gonna load the data and show that inside these two text views over here on the right side and if I click previous it's gonna take me back here to this previous method using the on click attribute where it's gonna take me back to our main activity now of course I could have used the back button to handle this but I have not done that so le now let's go and see how to write the code for saving the data so the first thing I need to do is save data using shared preferences. I need to get the reference to shared preferences object by saying shared preferences preps is get shared preferences. Now I'll be using the get shared preferences which takes two arguments. One is the name of the file which I'll call as data or I should say my data that would sound more appropriate. And the second one is the mode if you guys remember. It's gonna be context.mode private, which means this data is gonna be private to our app. Again, if you guys have seen the other video, you know very well what I'm talking about. So here, let's go down. And now what I need to do is take that object, shared preferences, call edit on that. Now this is gonna allow us to edit that file and put data inside it. But it doesn't do that directly. What it does is it actually gives a reference, shared preferences.editor object that is responsible for committing all the edits so here I'm gonna simply say editor dot put string key and value the key can be name and the value here will be some string over here same way I'm gonna say put string and here our other key will be password and some value over here now remember for the right hand side this value part I need to pull that value from the edit text which is username and use password over here so I'm gonna go down here I'm gonna say username dot get text which is gonna give me an editable object I'll convert that to string by saying to string and that should be pretty much good same way I'm gonna say password dot get text dot to string and that does everything now remember putting the values is one thing but committing the changes is very very important otherwise you're not gonna see them I'm gonna say editor dot commit and that pretty much covers our work so here inside our toast we are gonna simply display the values or we can simply say data was saved successfully and that takes care of saving the data now let's go to activity B try to figure out how the data is loaded here again what I'll have is the shared preferences object by saying shared preferences preps is get shared preferences the file name is gonna be my data if you guys remember and then the other one which is our mode is gonna be context.mode private now remember I have not given any extension to this file name the reason is whatever you give it's gonna be stored as XML file so you should probably not give a ref extension over here like saying dot txt or something it's gonna save in XML format so here I am gonna say shared preferences dot get string and if you guys remember it says key and default value the key is something which you already gave over there so I'm gonna say get string for the key as name the default value is something over here and then the same way I need to get the other string which is password right actually this is all the work that you guys need to do to get the data from our shared preference so let's go back and check if the keys are same I've said name over here as the key and putting the value password over here and put the value 
here I will use the same name and password to get the value out right I'm gonna store this inside a string I'll call it string name and string password now there is the second column which the second uh, attribute which is actually blank right now but it says default value now why do you need this well if the key is incorrect or maybe if you did not save any data at all what data should your shared preference return that should be a default value because you don't want your app to crash right so here in the default value section it will probably say something like not applicable or something so let me remove this and actually make it a general string over here at the top so I'm gonna go here make a final constant by saying public static final string and I'll call this default and that should be pretty good so here I'm gonna say n slash a and this default is gonna be retrieved if nothing is found so here I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna say default over here and the same for the password right default over here and now I need to compare some data I'm gonna say if name dot equals default I want to make sure that we are not getting the default value inside our uh, variables that we created here by saying password dot equals default that means there was actually no data that was found otherwise it means data was found so in this case I can probably put a toast that so what I have here is one toast which says that no data was found if our name variable here equals the default value and if our password variable here equals the default value otherwise it says data was loaded successfully so in this case we need to go ahead and set the value right to go to activity B notice there is this edit text view over here and there's another text view over here this text view has an ID of text view 2 and this one has an ID of text view 4 so in other words I'm gonna set their values here if you guys notice at the top there's already username text view password text view which is those text view 2 and text view 4 so inside the else part what I'm gonna do is set them by saying username text view dot set text that's gonna be our name that we found right and at the same way I'll set the password text view dot set text and that should take care of all the values that we are dealing with so this should complete everything so now let's run this and try to see if this thing works alright so here my emulator is up and running before we try and save any data let's actually try and load some data and see what happens we go to our activity B and there if you guys remember we had the load button that's gonna actually try to pull some data from our shared preferences and remember since no data is saved click load it's gonna show the default values it says no data was found which means if you go here it's executing this toast message over here so that means if data is found it should execute this part so let's see that in action let's go back to our previous and try to actually put some data inside our shared preference file so uh, again I'm gonna show you guys exactly how the shared preference file looks just hold on I'm gonna see whips over here in the username the password I'll say ABC and click save over here and at this point it says data was saved successfully so we now go to B to our other activity here so this time our other activity is up and running if I click load over here there you go ladies and gentlemen that is our shared preference in action it says the name waves the username the password ABC now of course it's not properly aligned as per this other text view here but then it's working so now let's actually try to see where this file is located in the system and try to understand how it works so we go to window tools Android monitor this is the place where we are gonna check our shared preference file inside the virtual device that we have just mounted here so there you go our monitor is up and running let's try and see if you guys notice it shows all the processes that are currently running here I click slide note on dot waves over here as you guys notice there is a lot of stuff here in our files explorer if you go to data slash data that directory and there if you try to find our process which is I think slide note dot waves right here you go there down to our shared prefs folder here you guys notice that is our shared preference file inside this shared underscore prefs folder which is called my data dot xml now I wish I could open this and show you guys directly what is inside but unfortunately we cannot directly do that because this is running inside an emulated environment so we have to pull it to our device or in other words transfer it from the phone to our computer so for that I'm gonna select this file here and I'm gonna call pull a file from the device option that you see here at the top so it's gonna say where I wanna pull it I'm gonna put it in documents folder I'm gonna say save over here 
now let's try and open that file here in my documents which is my data.xml so open with notepad and there you go ladies and gentlemen you see that that oops I should have actually opened it with a better editor I'm gonna have to open it to wordpad and probably you guys can understand okay there you go ladies and gentlemen there you see this is how data is stored internally inside our shared preference what you have is an XML file with some map attribute and there's a password ABC and the name waves and this is how it works so if you go back to our monitor here so you guys notice this is actually our internal storage let's try and see what happens if the user uninstalls the app and try to understand if that affects our shared preference in some way so let's let me go back to our home screen here and try to go to my settings and then try and uninstall this app over here okay there's our app shared preferences test so let's open this so if you do uninstall it is very obvious that this is all gonna get deleted but let's try and see what happens when you see clear data it's something I wanted to test all the time so I'm gonna say clear data over here says all this apps data will be deleted permanently click OK let's try and find out what happens to this file oops there you see ladies and gentlemen that is gone our shared preference file was removed when we actually tried and remove now I'm gonna say uninstall over here and at this point if I go here uninstall it says do you want to install this app click OK I think even this folder will be deleted which is slidenow.webs folder which you see right now Oh, there you go ladies and gentlemen that you see the complete folder has been removed but earlier when you said clear data there's only the shared preferences folder which was removed which means if you're storing preferences that you want to retain across user app uninstalls and installs you wanna you'll have to store the data in cloud there is no other option you'll have to put it in Dropbox maybe Google message Google cloud or something and you'll have to figure out how user loads the data the next time he installs the app so this is all about shared preferences I hope you guys have understood exactly how things work if you do like what you saw please like this video share this video comment on this video and let us know your thoughts and I'll catch you guys in the next video where we start talking about internal storage in more detail. Have a nice day. Catch you later.